Oh my god, guys. Okay, so, got some big news. The other day, I was filming Gizmo doing this, and I'll speed it up because it's quite a long clip, and I thought, she's gonna lay an egg. And I was trying to film it to show you guys, um, but it never happened. Now, that was about uh, two nights ago. Now, she hasn't been eating either. Last night I tried her food, wasn't eating. Another symptom I realised is when I picked her up, she would leak. Okay, now this didn't happen all the time and it wasn't gushing out of her. It was like a drip of random liquid. This is something I've noticed with her happening before when she's about to lay an egg. Although saying that, sometimes if you hold them in a weird way and they probably do need the loo, they can drip but it's quite rare and most of the time I've ever seen it, you can see my hand, hello, most of the time I've ever seen it is when my gecko's gonna lay an egg. I've just got up and I did notice Gizmo in this hide a lot last night. This is where she actually usually goes to lose her new hide I put in there and annoyingly she goes to loo inside. Anyway, as I was walking past the cage, I noticed something, so let's go and have a look. Now one thing I will say is she laid her first ever egg July 2014. Her second and third egg, June 2015, and it looks like May is going to be for her fourth egg. Look at that! It's a little egg! Oh my god, that's just come out of her, that's weird. Oh look, it's all like jelly-like. Uh, oh my god, that's wet. Oh my god, that's come out of my gecko. Look at that. You know, it's so annoying sometimes though because you think all those vitamins and minerals and everything, all that effort for something that doesn't have anything in it. I don't know why she started doing this and this is why I try to always point out to people that if their gecko's not eating and they just assume that they're ovulating, it's not the most common thing. I mean, as I've said before, Gizmo only laid her first egg when she was... Oh, thank you, Carl. Uh, she only laid her first egg when she was seven or eight. So, I mean, she's gone a long time without any problems. Now, I am going to, obviously, put a light through this just to be sure that it is a dud. Yeah, that's definitely a dud. If you want to know a difference, if it's fertile, it'll glow up pink as a dud. Very yellow. As you can see, it's quite sticky as well. Um, probably got like gecko juice on. Oh, that's disgusting, isn't it? Anyway, I am really happy. Now, obviously last year she laid two. So I'll do an estimate date of when the second one may hatch if she is going to lay a second one. One other thing that I've noticed when they're going to lay eggs, or just Gizmo in particular, is round the back of her body, near the end, near her tail, it's very round. So her tail obviously looks quite slim because she hasn't been eating as much as usual, but her body looks very round. So here's a picture of her, obviously from a few days ago, and here's a picture of her like midway through the year when she's not having any trouble with eating or any trouble with eggs. And you can see a very subtle difference, but if you keep a close eye, you know they've got eggs in there. Now, Ziggy looks like this at the moment, and I really do think she's going to lay the eggs just because she's gained weight without eating. She is digging everywhere, and I don't know, she just seems like she's going to lay eggs. But if she doesn't, there is still a chance. If the eggs haven't made a shell yet, she can reabsorb them. If they have made a shell and she's not laying them, then she could be egg bound. So then we'd have to see a vet. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna eat a lot tonight. So I look forward to her gaining a little bit of weight. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.